What's up guys, Austin Numi here, and today I'm going to be doing a video editing walkthrough from my most recent short film, Real Great Beyond, which is something that I released here on YouTube last week. I got a lot of great comments. Thank you guys for the support and the kind words on this work. It was a lot of fun to do. Mostly I got a lot of questions on how to edit this particular piece. So I'm going to walk you through some of the effects that I used and how to get the same look. Before I do, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on. So I've got my film loaded up. I'm just gonna play through and I'll stop at the different points that I'm gonna show you how I did a particular effect. This first one is the RGB split, very simple. You'll see it in our arm here, the red and green separation. That's really easy to do. I'm gonna drag in my other clip here of these mountains just to demonstrate this. With this clip selected, I'm gonna hold down Alt and drag up and drag up. I'm gonna duplicate that twice. That way we have three layers here. We're gonna separate into red, green, and blue channels. I have an RGB split preset that I've already made available for free. I've linked it below. Go ahead and grab that because I'm gonna be using that a lot in this tutorial. So take the bottom to the bottom layer, middle to the middle layer, and red to the top layer. So you're not gonna see anything different here. We're gonna go to the beginning of the clip and I'm gonna go to the right two frames using the arrow key, one, two. I'm gonna take this red layer at the top and just drag it over and then extend that out so you don't have a weird kind of overlapping blue look. And you'll see the red here on the snow caps is kind of separating. You'll see this every time there's movement, it's just a slight little separation, which is really nice. If you wanna get a further effect for that, you'll go maybe another frame to the right and then just take the bottom one, which is the blue layer and then extend that out and you'll kind of get a little bit more of that. So that's how I did the RGB split. Okay, the next effect is this quick little flash here. You just see this pop really quick into the next scene just to kind of get you acquainted to the next shot. That's a very simple one too. It's just a really quick flash transition. If you guys were on the live stream the other week, you'll notice that I was doing that in the live stream just to kind of show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this clip that I wanna transition from over the next clip, maybe two frames, so one, two. And then all I'm gonna do is just clip it right here using the cutting tool C on the keyboard. And with this little tiny clip selected, go to your effect controls and turn on screen for this one, and it'll just brighten it up a little bit. So it goes pop like that. So for this shot here, where you see her hands kind of going down a little bit, is I just did a simple screen and I just changed up the colors. So just like I did on this other clip where I transitioned, I had the screen come over it and then I just kind of went over to my speed and duration and I reversed the speed. And then I did an RGB split on this layer in particular. I got asked about this one a lot. You'll see kind of like the speed ramp effect. So I'm gonna speed ramp from this clip into the airplane cabin. So I'll just kind of go back a little bit cause I want a little bit of room uh, a runway to kind of go into the next one. So I'm gonna clip it maybe midway through. So see on the keyboard, bring up your cutting tool and then I'm gonna hit R on the keyboard to bring up my speed tool. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. So maybe a few frames out, like about five frames, that looks good. And I'm going to bring this other clip in and you'll get just a little speed effect right before you go into your next clip. So that usually helps transition a good bit. For this shot here, I did a little VHS effect. I'm not gonna go into that in this video because I've made a dedicated video on how to do this VHS effect, which I'm gonna link in the card right up there. So go check that out if you wanna learn how to do the VHS effect. I did make a preset here that you see in my retro preset pack. I have not released this, this is not out. I'm thinking about releasing it. Uh, if you guys are interested in it, definitely hit me up in the comments and let me know if you guys wanna see that preset pack come out. So next you'll see here this flip. That's very simple. Go into your effects and type in flip. I just did a horizontal flip and you'll see it flips the clip. Very simple. So I did some more speed ramping in between each of these clips. Uh, once again, I just kind of hit R on the keyboard and then just drag the clip out to size it however I'd like to transition. And you'll see this right here kind of gets a little fuzzy. For this effect, just go over to your effects and type in channel blur and you'll see channel blur under blur and sharpen, drag that onto your clip. And for this one, I did a blurriness value for the green at 100, and then I did repeat edge pixels. Otherwise you get this really weird red vignette, so we don't want that. So we'll just hit the repeat edge pixels. And that's how I did that effect. And you can play around with a couple of these. The red also looks pretty cool. So I've got another screen flash right there. A couple of screen flashes just to kind of get you the idea that she is entering into another world, listening to the music, another speed ramp effect keep playing through. And then this one right here was another speed ramp, of course, with the RGB split. So I've already split these clips here. If I wanted to do that speed ramp effect for the RGB split, then I would hit R on my keyboard to bring up my speed and duration value here and drag this in. And I'll do maybe green a little bit longer than red. And then I'll do blue just a little bit longer than red. So I'll come in here and maybe do it right about here. 
hit V on your keyboard to bring up selection tool, make sure to extend all these out so they're at the same speed. And that's how I get that RGB split with the speed ramp. I did another really quick dream effect here and combine that with my VHS effect. Here's another screen pop and then another screen pop just to kind of transition to the next shot here. Another slow-mo shot. And then I added a little bit of my TV here. You'll see for this one frame, I've got this TV snow, which I also have linked below. That's a free stock footage thing that I added about a week or two ago. So go check that out if you want to get that free stock footage. And I just popped that on the screen for two seconds just to transition to the next shot with a quick speed ramp. So next up, I had this really quick, cool scale effect. So for this one, I just went to the red value. You can also do the green value or the blue value, but I went to the red value. I hit a key frame right there, a value of 100. I went over one frame. I did 130 for the value for the next key frame. And then I went over two frames, one, two, set another key frame and returned it back to 100. And that gave me this effect. See, there's the red. I did one of the yellow. And then I did like a quick flip. So for the flip, I just went down to my blue channel and I cut one side of it and I went in about three frames and I cut it again. So we isolate this one little area, go over to your effects, type in flip, and I use both the horizontal flip and the vertical flip on that. So you kind of come through and you see it kind of flips really quickly. So you see here we have two images of her flip. So it's just a vertical flip and a horizontal flip. And then I did another speed ramp with the RGB. Next up, after the speed ramp here, I just did a really cool duplication effect. And that one's also very simple. So for this split footage, the only thing I did was mess with the green and the blue. And for these two, on the green, I would just cut it somewhere around here, and then just a little bit later, I'd cut the blue. And for the green, I would scale that up to about 110. And then I'd move the position to the right a little bit, just until you saw this purple here. You don't want that on there. And then for the blue, I just scaled that up to about 120. So you want that a little bit bigger than the other footage. Then bring this up so it's just kind of duplicating a little bit. Move the position over to the right and then it just kind of pops on like that. So then I did a speed ramp up to her hand and I did a really quick RGB split on this one. So I started with the red channel, so I would just maybe clip these other two. Started with the red channel and then popped in with the green channel and then popped in with the blue channel. So it's just like that, except it was on her hand so it worked out perfectly because the sky was just white and then everything just kind of meshed together. I also threw a really quick flip on each of these. So I went over here to effects and I did like a vertical flip on maybe the, the yellow or the green. It kind of gives you a really cool gradient effect, especially for this particular clip and did a horizontal flip on another one. And that combined with the way her hand was positioned in each of those shots made it for a really good effect. And that's really all the effects that I did in this video. If you guys want to see the retro preset pack, make sure to hit like on this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment below and let me know that you want that preset pack. I'm going to pick five people out of the comments to receive that pack for free. I know this video was a bit longer than usual tutorials I do on this channel, but I wanted to provide a complete walkthrough on the editing process of this video since I got so many questions about it. However, if you have an additional question, make sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer it. Thank you guys again for watching, and until next time, guys, we'll see you later.